All right, today I'm going to show you how to take apart and clean and reassemble and retime this unit here. Uh, this is a 3B4 and also a 1HP. And here's a list of all the models that's going to come on. It'll come on the new Vikings and all the newer models. To get this off, uh, you got three 10 millimeter bolts. I just use a quarter inch drive ratchet and a uh, deep well socket and get it off pretty easy and just unplug that one plug. And then, uh, like always, before I take it off, I'll make sure my button's in two wheel drive. Just makes things a lot easier. I'll go ahead and just take these screws out right here. Once you get them out, just open it up real, real carefully, and uh, you'll see. To break it down completely, you pull that out, set that aside. And there's your little motor. Set them two screws off. That's your motor. You can see it's got the prongs it sets down on. And uh, you can find these motors on our website if you had to replace them. www.501parts.com uh, You can clean this out if you have mud and dirt in there. Uh, just use like an old dielectric grease will be fine to put back in there. That's as far as you can break that side down. And then on this side, if you look at the back on most of them, it's going to have a mark right there and there's a mark right here on the plastic that's going to be your two-wheel drive some of them may or may not have that mark on it but uh to pull this side apart it's fairly easy uh you kind of just i take me a little small screwdriver pry up on this Pull this piece off right here. Just set that aside. Just keep in mind how it how it goes. You see how you got a kind of a half moon shape, a flat spot on one side and a flat spot on that. It only go on there one way. Set that aside one. And this here will just push out. Just push it out real carefully because you want to make sure that's as far as you can take that down. That's the whole side. Now, when you're pulling this out, is where you got to kind of be careful, kind of watch how it's going to go because there's a spring in there. Just pull it out real carefully and you'll hear it click. Oh, hear it click. And then pull that apart. And that's what you got right there. And you can clean all this out if you got a bunch of gunk in it. Uh, this spring here will pop out. And that, that's as far down as you can break it right there. And then to put it back, you'll see you got two little bends on your spring. You'll put one side on, on the side of that. And then you're going to stick this. The edge of this is going to catch the edge of that and hook it on that. That's what's going to keep it held in place. So you'll stick that there. You might take a rag or something where you can turn it. but See how it kind of clicks in place? I'll do it one more one more time. Let's push it down. Oop. Just like that. And uh and then you can push pop this back on there. Like I said, it only go on one way. And then stick it back in. Pretty simple. Now, once you get this back in there, 
to retime it to two wheel drive. Like I said, you always got your mark right there. And you can see how that mark is kind of more towards the top than it is the bottom. That's going to be your two wheel drive. If you don't have the mark, you can set this thing flat on the ground. Or, and then that flat side of that half moon shaft is going to be straight up and down. You can see there if I was setting that on the ground, how that would be straight up and down. That's going to be your two wheel drive mode right there. So to keep that in place, we'll go ahead and put our little motor back in there. Snap it in. Hold down. Stick your gear back in there, sets in those little slots. That's all it is to it. Again, you check, make sure either your marks are lined up or you got that this flat piece is straight up and down with the ground. That's your two wheel drive. That's how you want to put it back together. And also, this one don't have it. This is just my test piece, but uh, there'll be an O-ring right here. You may want to clean all that mud and dirt out of there where it seals right and you don't get water back in it. Just put it back together. Put your screws back in it. And uh, like I said, this is a 3B4 or on the new Vikings and the new uh, 13s and 14s. It's a 1HP part number. These are all the, the models that, that it'll apply to. And uh, like always, if we can help you anyway with it, just give us a call, 501-658-0219.